It's just completely faked and made up. So let's look at the next big trend, artistic extension. Uh, artist as environmental designer. Um, last year, when I did the trends, it, it was the artists were, um, it was about sort of green. It was echo. Uh, so for the last two years, it's been green and echo. I want, uh, you know, earth-friendly materials. And it was sort of like a chance to have wood sculpture and, and these sorts of things. Now, though, it's sort of gone. I don't. It's, I almost see like the the deck, the um, environmental part dropped off. <laughs> like no one's really talking as much about green. If you've noticed, it's been kind of quiet. I mean, other than Tom Tom Felicia, he's here uh, at the market, um, and he has a, a green line. But uh, that sort of fell off. And what really kind of came up now is the artistic version of it. It's about sculptural, unique, and different. Uh, so quirky personal style, sculpture, one-of-a-kind items, um, integration of art into spaces. I think all through this past year, especially the six months, you can see art isn't just thrown on the wall. It's installed in someone's home now. Like they have literally things you walk around, and it's odd sort of almost like public sculpture space type things in someone's private home. Uh, basically, what I'm talking about with this trend is that, oh, look at this, <laughs> is, um, is a hotel room for a while, everywhere you went, I want my bedroom to look like a hotel room. I want a luxury boutique hotel. It's now kind of going away, right? Everyone wants not a luxury boutique hotel, but their version of a luxury hotel. In other words, they still want luxury, they still want it to be great, but they want it to be unique to them and personal to them. So it's, it's moved from sort of generic cool to me being cool. So it's, it's, it's sort of another translation down. Okay, so why artistic extension? You have since the 90s and or since the early 1900s, women's right to vote, suffrage, things going on. Um, then black rights, and basically, we've been building up slowly in America our individual personal rights. You know, one man, one vote, I have the power. That, basically, in the last, I would say, five years especially, has exploded to really being, you know, each person has power. Like, I have power. It's not like, oh, I can't affect change. I mean, look, look at the whole Middle East. Right? I mean, it's all about power to the people, basically, again. So it's going to be about artistic, quirky spaces. For example, like this. This is a sort of a very New York version of it um, from a, a collector slash photographer. You can see sculptural furniture, mixing of, of sort of quirky kind of mixes, um, very unique sort of natural items, and then this person's collection. And it's not so much, oh, it's perfectly this or that. It's, it's their unique vision. And that's what it's about. So that, what falls under that is artists made sculptural furniture. So for example, the wonderful Wendell Castle. Uh, we highlighted him on our site recently. Uh, some of his work, his newest work, which is just incredible. Uh, you know, who, if you've been watching, sort of Wendell Castle's been doing this since the 80s. And so, of course, since we're in a late 80s, early 90s thing, he's back again and he's become important again. It's even kind of gotten where even our more mass produced items have to be special. It, not even like just generic or nice anymore. It's got to be cool, like to a fairly strong level. Uh, so you can see here some performance speakers. Um, uh, oh, yeah, by a very expensive brand, but at least it's available, right? Love this piece. This is uh, Friedberg, the Mexican artist. This is kind of an outrageous, crazy armchair he did, which obviously he took you know, existing chairs and reworked. What's amazing is uh, someone posted on our Facebook. We have Facebook in case you'd like to track us there, too. Um, somebody just posted on Facebook uh, in San Francisco he paid a guy to kind of like pick through, literally through the garbage for him. And they just found an amazing Friedeberg chair like this, 
but just like a single individual chair. Uh, and I was like, and he bought it for 50 bucks. He paid the guy 50 bucks. It was like some homeless guy he paid 50 bucks to get. And I, I'm sure it's worth uh, you know, several thousand. It, it's amazing. I'm like, why isn't that, why isn't that my luck? You know? um, here, this came from Modern Magazine. You can see this is, uh, I think, Billy Haynes' collection or something. Again, sculptural. You can see the preference for metal that was been around uh, in the last few years. Again, these are a small produced uh, design objects. And again, we're moving that way. Gold, that's been something that has been kind of quietly sneaking in. Um, and now silver is sort of phasing out. And for a while, I think maybe almost 20 years, you couldn't go anywhere with like nickel, zinc, silver, shiny. Nope, now it's all going to gold, believe it or not. It hasn't fully gotten there yet. There's still a lot of bling I see out there in sort of a silvery tones. But I think it is going to go heavily gold. Um, and you can see here, it's very rich golds as well, the really deep, deep uh, yellows, even to sort of a bronzy, brassy quality. Unique and quirky. Um, now, this is a space uh, I think that was done probably in the early 2000s, but um, old pieces kind of set into a whole modern way, and then trying to sort of juxtapose classical things in a new way that gives it a whole new context. I think, again, you're going to start to see it's gently moving that way. The pendulum's starting to swing. I see traditional slowly coming back, but in a new way. So I think the way it's going to be reintroduced into the home is definitely in a more eclectic way. I think you'll find a lot of your clients as interior designers will say, I like modern and I like traditional. And they'll be like, we're eclectic. That's going to start to come up more and more. And you can see here, they introduced you know, what was a piece of a French building or something as a sort of a statement piece for the uh, mantle. And then you, they were like sort of still stuck, OK, let's do silver, and then let's do visual texture. So, so you can see it's sort of in the middle of a bunch of the trends coming through. Talk about quirky style. I don't know if anyone had saw this a few months back um, in my favorite magazine, World of Interiors, still the best magazine uh, in the world. Expensive, but good. Um, here, this is like a, someone's personal vision, quirky vision. I, I love going uh, around the country, and people are building their own homes, and it's some weird kind of, you're like, what? wow, that's crazy. But that's the kind of thing that's going to be happening a lot, very individual. I, I just love these crazy collections, you know? So here's my rendition of it. I started with like a New York interior. Uh, this is sort of an LA version, like the warehouse living um, version of this idea. And so it, again, mixing sort of traditional, beautiful, expensive things. I think that's like a, a Baccarat or some very expensive crystal chandelier, along with sort of cheap art and kind of finds that you just sort of find in some flea market. Uh, mixed with sort of more production type things that are cheaper. So one of the next uh, trends, unfettered form. And again, they're not as strong necessarily as like two or the three of the other ones we covered. This is really about a lack of ornament. Um, unless the ornament is sculptural or so unique that it makes it important. Traditional proportions and shapes. Again, everyone's going to start talking about the bones and, oh, I want classic shapes, but fresher, more modern. That's how it's going to be modern. It is a lot about bare bones, having good bones and essence. Um, the, oh, uh, not ears, not essence of ears. It's essence of ears there. Um, and uh, sort of the other thing it talks a lot about is um, getting back to the Renaissance classic of man is the center of the universe. Um, Part of this is that we're going back to the essence of things, the beginning of things, and trying to re-understand it. And so armillary, which is our, those sort of global looking balls with the arrow through it that tells the time. They're selling out downstairs here. 
uh, on my website, they blow out every time we have them on. Uh, I noticed even a new vendor, AM, down here is selling sort of reversions of like Leonardo da Vinci like models and experiments and helix uh, stairways. So again, it's that whole idea. What I love is here's uh, Gio Ponti, uh, the Italian basically reinterpreting Greek vases, but in a clean, modern way. I adore these. Again, this is sort of the essence of what's happening. Here, of course, there it is, the obligatory armillary. And this is everywhere. Like, you can't get away from it. That was also big about two years ago. Again, though, it's about bones. It's a beautiful sort of canvas with edges that other things can be set off on. What I love, again, World of Interiors, I think this was after, I don't know, they had like an attic sale maybe um, at one of the castles or something, you know, just a typical guy down the street. Um, but again, I love this idea of the bones of it are beautiful, even if it's a little dirty. Here's a cleaner version. This is, again, more towards that Hollywood glamour feel. This is Again, I think the next version of Hollywood glamour, which really is just about beautiful classic lines and pretty comfortable fabrics, yet tailored with details. Again, uh, interesting. I haven't seen this sort of thing in a while. Again, probably since the 80s, late 80s, early 90s. Clean kitchens that sort of harken back to the very classic beginnings of farmhouse but not quite farmhouse. You know, it, it, it's not like, oh, let's redo farmhouse. It's farmhouse gone modern. So it's like a sleek down version of it. This was my artist sort of creation of the idea. Um, I wish it was sharper. Um, this here is piece, all these pieces from our site, uh, even the finial, which is also pretty trendy from last year. Uh, and I noticed they were, again, blowing finials out downstairs like, like their popcorn. Um, bringing in the gold gently. Having a blanket chest. I think blanket chests are coming back. You're going to start to see them everywhere. This, in particular, is like a Swedish-y, American-y, simple version. Uh, again, this is a very interesting piece, yet still simple and clean. And then touches of that industrial chic, industrial steampunk, all that stuff that's been around for about now two years. Again, sculptural and stonish. And I think you'll find sort of very interesting ceramic back again. Baskets, I also noticed baskets are slightly on the uprise again. So what